What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. We are here at Manhattan Beach. We're testing out the brand new Fujifilm camera, the Fujifilm X-H2S. What can I say about this camera? This thing is everything that you need. 26 megs, stack sensor, and autofocus is out of this world. So we're gonna be shooting some stills on the updated 23mm 1.4 lens. Kind of the same as a 35 on a full frame sensor. So let's hop in and see what it looks like. So we're here at the beach, but we kind of wanted to switch it up. We didn't want to do like a regular beach shoot. We wanted to add some type of crazy element. So we're going to see if we can bring two C stands and a little fabric backdrop and just see if we can get some color pop going and yeah, have some fun. We're kind of going on the majestic vibes with the ocean. Just feel the waves. <laughs> a lot more options for subject tracking. Planes, trains, automobiles, birds, but right now we're just gonna use a human. And we're gonna challenge the camera a little bit and see what we got. <laughs> so we're gonna test out the 40 frames per second um, with the autofocus. So we're gonna have our subject, China. Say hi, China. Um, thank you for coming out here today. Uh, we're gonna have her do like a spin or some type of movement so we can capture that over the um, 40 frames. And let's see what works. Do you feel comfortable having it? Oh, sway, sway, <laughs> sway. I like it, I like it, we'll do that. Uh, so when I say, don't worry about the sheet, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. Yeah, but come this way, there we go. And when I say three, two, one, you're gonna step and then boom. Three, two, one, go. Good. All right, and the last thing we're gonna try is Fujifilm was awesome. They give you the option to do electronic or mechanical. So we switched over to the mechanical side and they said that you could do over half a million shots, which is pretty crazy. But right now we're just gonna stick to the 15 shots and see what it looks like. I want you to keep that arm the same with the trumpet. Oof. That, and then that arm. Behind you. That arm, I want you, you're gonna go from here to here. Three, two, one, go. Good. Sounds good. had our fun in the sun today um really great shoot i think i got a lot of great photos i really like this camera one it's super light that's always a thing i have really fragile wrists so <laughs> having a light camera always works but yeah the user interface is great i feel like it's so smooth autofocus is a blessing because that's one thing you probably won't have to worry about or you just trust the camera to get all your shots in focus um overall i think Anybody can pick up this camera and do some um, pretty amazing work with it. Super light, which is really great, but the most important thing is that 26 meg, that means our photos are gonna be crystal, crystal clear. Um, having the stack sensor also is a big plus. At its price point, it's a really great option compared to other cameras like the Sony a7 IV or the Panasonic GH GH6. Uh, this is a really great option. Of course, you're gonna get high meg, stack shooting, and the sports mode shooting 40 frames per second really, really helps out, especially with the autofocus tracking. It's just gonna have that doubt of, okay, is my are my shots in focus? Are they clean? 
obviously the answer is going to be yes with this camera. Uh, shout out to Fujifilm. They, they hit the bullseye on this one. So boom, on next week's video, join us back here. We're going to test out the video side of this camera. Um, not only is it great for stills, but its video quality is amazing. 4K shooting, lots of codecs, 14 stops of dynamic range shooting. What more could you ask for? But I don't want to give away too much. Just join us back here on the next video and we'll get into it. If you like this video, please give that button a like and subscribe for more. Thanks guys for watching.